Hi, once again, welcome to Shortcut Guide. And if you want to this channel, we explore opportunities in life. Now, in today's video, I've started to, to bring to you this video today to show you how you can actually download the app for Horelix on your phone and then use the phone in displaying videos on your on your projector using your phone. Uh, it only needs for you to connect Wi-Fi and then you start displaying things on your using your what? Your phone. So let's let me take you direct to the phone and we start. So the first thing we're going to start with is that we're going to download the application. So you go to Apple Store and then you type in the word. I'm sorry for the noise in the background, but we shall move on. So on the App Store, where you search from, you type in the word Horelix. Ah, uh, it is H O L Y R Y, not R, but yeah, let me rub that. Y R C C S Horelix. So after that it will bring you up an application like that yes because i have I already have it on my phone it will not need me to download it but let me just update it because it needs to be updated so let me update it but if you don't have it on your phone it will tell you that install there then you install the application so let me see how the ratings the ratings are and how how the, how the it was going to look the graphics are going to look like yeah this is how it is going to look like so after after downloading this we're going to be opening the application and i actually show you how to display them how to connect to your pc and everything about that so the first thing is that uh -huh, this was saying that i'll find the application user, user friendly it makes it, it easier to control projections such as fast as on your phone than it would be on your pc it would i would give five stars to this one so let me aha uh -huh, it is now it is about yeah it's 100 percent now so it has updated fully updated so installing it what's new so let me place open so now if you're not in this channel we talk about applications how you can use applications on our phones and on our pc so when you open it the first layout is like this these are the songs which i already have but if you don't have them you should first upload to, t to pc before you do what you up you you they, they come here so the first thing is that let me first search here and i see the name jesus so if you search for the lyrics there we have a search button so if you say that with the relics we want the lyrics also to be involved that means that all these songs are which are down here are having the word jesus but if you want the only two dots that means that you should start from there so that's it so as simple as that uh the word jesus is in the relics ah you can use that interface so another thing is that you can display the bible using Horelix here but now it's time for us to solve the problem of connecting to our pc so on your computer go to menu by uh help uh connection with the question the connection has done what has failed so what i'm going to do is that let me go to my pc right now and here where there is help i'll go to i press help and i also yeah help and i go to connection failed then they to make that tell me there's something like that ip address so what you need to do is that you're going to connect your hotspot on your phone back to your phone then you put on hotspot on your phone at that particular moment let me try to do it from here up here and i see yeah i was listening to uh, there go bits, the bytes, but let me continue. Now we put on the hold spot here, and after putting on the hold spot on your phone, uh, we, we are going to go back to the PC and connect to the Wi Fi of your phone. So your phone is going to appear here. So if you have passwords on your phone, it will to obviously have a lock. But if you have already connected, you have ever connected it to your PC, you say that connect and it will connect automatically. If you have a password, you must go to your phone and then you search for where the, you have the, uh, your hotspot settings then you do what you also connect what automatically that's as simple as that so you there's a device which has already connected to a what to the pc as you can see one device it has been what connected on our hotspot it's our the pc i'm using right now which is which has been connected to the what to the hotspot and so if us go back up 
and then to me say that you so you remember that I went to help and they went to say to connection failed. Then you come here and scan the two R code which will come after you have said that the connection failed on your what PC. So let me say, let me scan the H, the, the code. The code is where there is help, and then you go to connection failed. Then we scan, and after scanning it like that, it you say that problem what solved, and after the problem has been solved, you can start doing what displaying. So I decide I have my ah uh, you can okay. So let me scan once again. Yeah, on this side I am having my what help you go to app connection failed if it has failed then you scan the do what the HR code will do appear by itself on your PC then you do what you scan it and you say that problem has been has been what so uh, that is the HR code which you're going to do you're going to get so presentation let me create the presentation here on my phone and then I said, let me display the what the relics of the phone I'm using, and that's how. If now we have started displaying the what the songs and everything about the presentation and many other things about that. So you can now at this particular moment, I'm doing what I'm displaying using my phone. But on your PC, uh, this the uh, at the left hand side, at the right hand side, I'm, I'm having my PC there. So those are the things I have displayed. I'm using now. I'm using my PC as the what, as the projector. So I'm projecting things using my phone to my PC. But if you have already connected the PC to connect to the projector, it will do what? It will actually uh, show them by itself. So as you can see at the future moment, I'm displaying things at this at the right hand side. So you can also change the background of your video or, or, or the background or the themes you'll be having on your what PC as you can see right now. I've changed the background. You can just go there and uh, let me put the presentation on my phone. Ah, you can change the background. So there's another thing I want to show you uh, which is about I think I want to show you is that is about the chat. So there's an a, a thing called chat. So there is another thing known as chat. You can go to application and on the option method of, of, of place you start, you go there and you find chat, and then you go to your PC. You're also having the chat there. So you can, if you want to start a chat, you come here to your PC, share, and then uh, you come here to Windows, and then you go to chat, or you can call, you press Control Shift Y, and then that is the chat you'll be using. So may have already registered there, so as the admin or something, so it will be easy for me to do what to send messages across. But if you're not yet registered, you press here register a user, and then they will do what. You will have to scan the HR code, which will, which will appear on your what, on your PC. So this one, this this enables you to send messages to a person who is on the PC. If you are not near him, and if you want to change, he change changes the background of everything, and that's how you are going to display the things so well and so easy. So, what do we have to have to do after registering? Obviously, you can start sending messages. Now, on the left hand side, I'm having my phone and i'm typing there i uh, put or oh, let me say right put on put on a or display so let me send a message to my phone i'm using my phone and let me send a message to the person who is on the, on the pc and i see and ah this is me the message has already come and then another message is that Put on SGL on the P on the PC. So you just need to do what you need to communicate between the person who is on the PC and you yourself. So 
Another thing about this now, I'm on the right hand, but it has now appeared. Now, on the left hand side is that another good thing about this is that on my left hand side, as you can see, it's my phone. You can go there if you have already written, you have copied the relics from uh, online. You can copy these relics and then you send them using the to the PC using the what the, the chat method. Uh, you can let me say that. Let me choose one of the songs here and I try to send the, him a message and I see whether it will go. Uh, so, uh, Tenderizer, yes, so let me use that song, that song, and I copy it, then I'll send it to the what using the chat on the PC. So, let me select, select the song, let me step down and I see on my phone, now we're on the left hand side, I'm using my phone now. So, uh, let me step down and I see. Uh -huh, something like that. I stop down with my phone. I now I'm going to copy this word and then I paste them on the chat copy and then when I go back to the chat chat I, I write the songs on the chat obviously. I paste that song, the relics of the songs on the chat. Then I will do what? Send them to the what? To the PC. Uh, this will may take uh, some time. It's not it's, it will not take sometime but in my editing here of this these two videos I just made it was not so automatic so guys you're going to forgive me but it does not take a lot of time it just takes click and after after I have sent it it will automatically come to the what to the PC as you can see now the relics have come have been sent actually they don't need anything like you being online or anything like that it just needs you to connect to the what to the hotspot of your of your phone as Wi-Fi and then you start sending messages across the PC between the PC and the what and the Holodex application that's all you need so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy these, these ones and I say new to the songs and then I copy the song I, I paste the the relics here paste paste the relics there so you can see that the relics have been pasted just from my phone and I've sent them to the PC and then I'm pasting them let me down change directions so another thing about this is that if you have not yet watched my channel if you have not yet watched my video about how to display applications and also how to create themes in Horrorx I have a video on my channel you can go there direct and watch it so another thing is that you can actually also send a file this is so exciting guys so you can send a file instead of delaying something with Bluetooth Bluetooth is some kind of so uh, difficult for us to handle so you can just send a file using this application so as it is sending I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel so Mr. Fane has sent a, a mega mix to, to what to the PC so when you look at the PC let me try to do and I see uh, so this channel here is about applications yeah how you can manage applications, how you can you can learn new applications here on this channel. And I would like you to also comment about anything you have found new in Horrorix. I have no problem with that. You post it so that maybe I can talk about it. We can talk about it. I want a community to form a community which is fairly informed about the new applications in their site. And actually, Jesus is the only way, the truth and life. You should not forget that as you listen to this. I'm sorry for that message if it made you annoyed but it's the fact that's it Jesus is the way the truth and life and nobody can go to the father except through what through him nobody can go to God except through him that's why most of our prayers are answered because we pray through him so I'm sending my mega I've mentioned my mega mix to the what to the PC I thought that this would take a, a short of time but so I've sent my mega mix to the PC. So another thing is that you can update actual updates that are using the PC. They said that send data to the computer and update has been what? Set to the PC as simple as that. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching guys merry christmas